So, what does Actions with Notes do? It synchronizes your actions between your Android device and your Lotus Notes mail file. It lets you create new actions on the Android device. You can mark actions as done. You can flag actions with the Today flag. Uh, and you can unflag uh, actions with the Today flag. And uh, all of these things synchronize both ways. So changes made, made in uh, Lotus Notes will synchronize to your Android device, and changes on your Android device will synchronize back to Lotus Notes. Let's take a look at the app. On the right, you see my e-productivity enabled mail. We're in the work context where I have two actions. Now let's start the app on my Android emulator. We're in the agendas uh, context. I'll just switch to the at work one. I can see the same two actions here. Now I'll create a new action. Check for laser cartridges. I'll do that at work. Now the action is saved locally. The UL means upload and there's one action needing to synchronize before it's available over here in the Lotus Notes. So I'll just activate the synchronization. Note the spinner, which means it's working. Right, and over here if I just press the F9 key See, the new action is available over here and still available in the at work context over here as well. And the UL is gone and the uh, date and time here is updated to signify that the uh, synchronization has, has happened and was su successful. Let's have a look at how to uh, configure actions with notes. I have a uh, new Installation of Actions with Notes here. I'll just uh, press it to launch. It does nothing. It's not configured yet. Um, to configure it, I'll press the uh, menu key and the edit preferences. I'll uh, walk you through the settings. First, we need to configure what the login name is. That's the Lotus Notes full. Uh, name including the uh, slash sign, so for me that will be something like Jens Brandt slash company. Then I type in my password. That's not my real password. The host name could be something like uh, mail.agme.com. Then I need to put in the uh, path uh, for reaching my mail file on that uh, mail server. That would usually look like this. Um, that's very common to do it like this. So in my case that would be JBR or JBrand or something like that. Then uh, the mail template. You can either choose Notes 852, that will cover also Notes 853, but uh, today we're looking at the e-productivity template mostly. I'll configure that. Then you have the option of configuring uh, ports and uh, whether to use uh, SSL or not. Default is uh, that it's not configured for SSL and default is that it will be using port 80 which is the standard HTTP port. If you want to configure SSL encryption, you have to remember to uh, change the port, uh, port number yourself, which will then usually be 443. Right. Moving on. This option 
which is uh, on by default will uh, make sure that every time you launch this app it will right after starting it will uh, start a synchronization with the server then there's the uh, filter um, that's an option you can have uh, ticked off if you tick it off the app will by default only show actions that are flagged uh, with the today flag if you don't uh, tick this uh, it will show you all uh, actions this option the uh, show the blank category uh, if you tick it off it will uh, show you actions that have no category uh, I usually uh, don't tick this off uh, most most of the time actions that don't have a category which actually means they don't have a context they don't uh, make any sense uh, in my use the last option ac ac option here is is really just a work in progress I'm trying to build a widget for you that's it when you're done uh, filling in these uh, options you just uh, press the back key and you're inside the app then uh, to start the first synchronization you press the menu key and then you press sync uh, this will fail now because uh, I've configured it all wrong but you'll notice there's a small uh, icon up here showing that it'll try to uh, synchronize it doesn't actually show you that it failed but there is uh, the possibility of uh, having a look in the log I'll just show you how to do that press the menu key and then lock and then in here you'll see that uh, uh, it does a basic check for things uh, and actually it stopped the uh, synchronization very early because it found that the uh, notes name uh, in the configuration was uh, only zero characters long so it didn't want to continue synchronizing but having a look through the uh, the log will often help you find out what's what's wrong if something doesn't work like it should right that's the configuration let's say um, I've checked these um, laser cartridges we have enough so I've checked that if I then do a long press in the Android uh, app I can select that it's uh, done and uh, as you can see it says UL1 and next time I do the synchronization the uh, the action will uh, disappear from the context in uh, Lotus Notes as well eProductivity has this feature where you can flag an action uh, today which means that it's an action you plan to be working on today okay, I'll just click on my today view and in here you'll be seeing my calendar entries for today and these four actions that are flagged uh, today in the app you can toggle uh, whether you want to see all actions or just the actions flagged with the today flag pressing the menu key and then today we're toggling that we now only want to see the ones with the today flag and you can see that there there's two uh, agenda items like in the notes client and there's two at computer ones the same actions as in the notes client let's say I'm out in the field and uh, I remember there's an action I would like to work on today I can then find this action let's say it's something at work I need to do I need to check if the new business cards have arrived I'll just long press and toggle the today flag on then you can see it needs to sync but if I just press the menu key and today this item that I've just flagged with the today flag is now also in the uh, in the list of items that I need to work on today and next time I synchronize let's just do that 
this new check for the new business cards action will also be flagged as an item I need to work on today. Actions with notes is primarily a tool for e-productivity users, though some features will work for regular Lotus Notes users, of course. E-productivity is a template that replaces the regular Lotus Notes email design with a set of features that will help you work in the getting things done way. If you're not an e-productivity user, but you do have Lotus Notes, I suggest you visit eproductivity.com to learn about this great productivity tool.